This is Sounds of Awakening. Thank you, everybody. Oh, it's so nice to be with you. And thanks for um, coming to Sounds of Awakening. Um, it's such a joy for me. Oh, thank you, Marisol. That's so sweet. Thank you, darling. I um, felt so strongly to sing that song. Um, I was going to sing something else. And all the way through our uh, last uh, meeting, our last program, I just kept hearing God will you know has condemned me not and of course it's a course of miracles lesson i can't remember which one right offhand but oh goodness the tricks that we do to ourselves and how we condemn ourselves and and um you know um put ourselves down that's 
just an illusion. It's not true, you know? So our conditioning, you know, is sometimes hard to overcome, but listening, as Glenn says, to the voice that likes you really leads the way. And tonight we've been really demonstrating that in, in all of the programs. So um, I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled to be here with you all. Um, Oh, hi, Virginia. Oh, I was just talking about you. I really love your chance, and I would love to connect with you. If you if you have a chance to email me, Yolanda at Yolanda.net, I'd love to um, talk to you. So I'm so glad you're here. Yay. That's totally wonderful. I want to switch back to just say hi to Anomaly again, because we, um, you know, we just want to touch base. I'm going to do a couple more songs, but I want to, I just want to say hi again. How's you feeling tonight, Namely? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a Pisces, so there's often a lot of, you know, it's a complicated question, but in general, <laughs> I'm doing okay. <laughs> That's awesome. I was so, uh, it was so fun to connect with you at, on, on Soundcheck because we really haven't talked to each other in a long time. And uh, so tell us where you are. You're in, you're someplace where I have a similar resonation resonate with you know you're right. it almost looks like i'm hiding out from the government or something <laughs> in that, like, looking cabin um, it's because i live in a really rural place and the we basically like ran out of internet because that can still happen like we hit our data cap. <laughs> and so i'm in this cabin with no flushing toilet but it has fiber optic it's oh. this weird like i can't even yeah, it's a very strange sort of uh, technolo technology over there. Yeah, right. It's funny. Yeah. It's like I told you, Glenn and I um, at our property in Vermont have a similar shed where we uh, have some electricity, but we don't have a flushing toilet either. So it's a very it's a very interesting uh, way to go there. You know. But I'm so glad you're here, and uh, we're gonna come back to you, and, and I'm gonna do a big super duper introduction. But uh, I want to share a couple more songs first, and. Uh, We'll talk to you in a minute. Oh, sounds great. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Another thing I felt very compelled to share with you, and I hope I can put this in the chat. Um, let me see if I can. Um, you know, I'm big on uh, mantras, which I'm going to share a couple of them with you. This one. Oh, yay, it worked. Okay. This one is called Ad Gure Name. And I just put it in the chat, and uh, the words may, if, you, if you're not familiar with Gurumuki, which is the language that we're singing, it uh, may look a little odd, but the, the pronunciation is very easy. Ad Gure Name, Jugad Gure Name, Sat Gure Name, Siri Guru Deve Name. And um, this is a song that has captivated my heart. You know, I'm writing a new album and I love to um, mix mantras with um, old gospel songs, which I'm gonna do in a minute. But um, this mantra is a protection mantra. And I find so many things lovely about it. It's lovely to sing. It feels good when you sing and uh, one thing that I loved when I looked it up was people uh, recite it before driving the car to create a protective energy around those in the car. So um, me and Glenn have gotten now where we uh, we say this every time we sing this every time we get in the car. And uh, the translation is just very simple. I bow to the primal source of creation. I bow to the wisdom through the ages. I bow to the true source of creation, the true identity of self. I bow to the great unseen wisdom. So I'm going to sing and uh, hopefully you can join me if you feel so inclined. Oh, let me get the, hold on just one second. All right, here we go. Amen. 
<laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, just a lovely prayer I wanted to to share with you. And uh, oh, it just feels. Thank you, Sina. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, it really is. It really, really is fun um, when you get it in your. You know, these these mantras are so much fun when you get them in your system because. Um, it's really helped me instead of going to those places where I want to yell at people or do things like that or whatever, especially in the car, right? When you're driving and it's like, um, you know, road stuff, you know, on the highway. Boy, it's so nice just to come that this mantra comes in, you know, and you can just ah, breathe. It's really, really, really lovely. So, um, there's another one. Oh, no, Marisol, I don't have it recorded yet. As a matter of fact, that um, I'm very excited about uh, my new recording. Oh, um, I'm going to respond to Diane, too. Diane says that she loves this chant. She knows this chant, apparently. It's one of her favorites. She has a dear friend that does chanting, and it's so very healing. It is. It is so very, very healing. And um, I, I'm, I'm thrilled to... Um, to say that uh, my the album that I'm writing right now, I'm working with uh, a whole bunch of mantras and deciding which ones to to record. But I I am so happy to uh, have the opportunity to record this new album with uh, a, a record label that uh, is is prominently um, or mostly involved with uh, sound healing. So. Um, we're going to have a really lovely offering for you here in a, a couple of months when we get this done. But I'm so happy to connect with uh, Choose Love Music, which is uh, a sound healing um, record label. So this is going to be very, very, very fun. And I'm looking forward to uh, sharing it with you. So that's why I'm exploring some of these chants with you uh, so that we can, uh, you know, decide what to record. But this one I have already recorded that I'm going to play for you now. And it's called Twameva. And uh, the, the mantra goes like this. Twameva mata, chapita twameva. Twameva bandush, chasaka twameva. Twameva vidya, dravinam twameva. Twameva sarvam, mamadeva. Deva. And the translation is so gorgeous to me. It's, Oh, beloved, you are mother and father. You are friend and companion. You are riches. You are wisdom. You are the eternal divine guide. Now, when I was, um, when I was learning this mantra, for some reason, I connected it with the old uh, gospel hymn, as some of you know I want to do, um, from my upbringing in the South. And this hymn uh, is called Love Lifted Me. So I've combined the two, and I think it's a really nice effect, and you can find it on my, um, on my record Yolanda Nanda, if you, if you like it. So... Here we go. Oh wait, I'm gonna capo up because it's in a different key. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh beloved. You are mother and father. You are friend and companion. Uh, you are riches. You are wisdom. You are the eternal divine God. Chapita Twameva, 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 Chapita Twameva,
Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm so glad, Marisol. Thank you. I'm really grateful you were here. Thank you so much. Goodness gracious, what a lovely, lovely community we have. So I am so excited to introduce you to Nomaly and to Nomaly to our community. So let me um, share this wonderful bio. I love this on your website, Nomaly. Dubbed among the best folk rock artists in the U.S. by the Tucson Weekly, singer-songwriter Nomaly Brennett has been touring the U.S. and Europe for 12 plus years. A four-time Out Music Award nominee who was featured in the inaugural Trans 100 list, Brennett has self-released an astonishing 13 albums since her debut in 20, 2002. And that is astonishing. Nomaly, really, you are my shero. <laughs> it's uh, you know, it takes a lot to put out a to put out an album. Nomaly's music has been featured in The Advocate, on NPR, and in the Emmy award-winning documentary Out in the Silence, which details the struggle of a gay teen growing growing up in rural Pennsylvania. Uh, Nomaly's live performances spurn typical singer songwriter fare, opting instead for incorporating loops, delays, keyboards, foot percussion, and vocal effects to create a one woman soundscape. Pride.com Pride included her performance in Las Cruces as one of the most iconic Pride performances of all time. Along with Nicki Minaj, Ariana Grande, and Tegan and Sarah. An artist whose music has evolved along with their gender into something sophisticated, powerful, and moving that defies categorization. Everybody, I'd love for you to meet my friend, Nomaly Brennett. Hi, sweetheart. Hey there. <laughs> that's, a lot of, that's a lot of pressure after that intro. This oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it because, I mean, there's just been, you've just had such wonderful, wonderful experiences, you know, and it makes me really, really happy. And I'm so proud of you and so happy for you, you know, so um, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. <laughs> How about if we start with the song and then we'll we'll chat a little bit. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Let me turn on my Kirtan style reverbs. Here. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. 
Oh. oh, that was spectacular, my dear friend. Oh, my goodness. I'm not avoiding you. I'm just messing with my pedals. <laughs> we love your pedals. <laughs> the only thing that's, that's less fun than watching someone mess with their pedals on stage at a live show is uh, <laughs> watching them do it like out of sight on a Zoom call. <laughs> All is good here, my love. It's it's so fun though, actually. I could because I can't do that, so I love I love when you do that, uh, the pedals and the loops and all that stuff. It's really really cool, and uh, so I love it. So let's start. Maybe if you don't mind, um, just chatting a little bit about you know where you're from, how you how music entered your life, how it um, you know how it how it is for you. Um, you know, and what your spiritual self might, how be connected to the music you make, that kind of stuff, or just a little background from, you know, from okay. you. Okay, well, I'm, I think <laughs> I mentioned to you in the sound check that I'm living in Iowa. I've been yeah. here for 10 years. Before that, I was in Tucson, and before that, I was just kind of an East Coast kid and moved mm -hmm. all over the place with my family, mm -hmm. um, as one does when you're a child. Yes, yes. All of the caretakers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and I was a pretty um, precocious kid with a, a lot of musical talent, and it seemed pretty obvious that I should do something <laughs> in that direction. Um, also. Yeah, I grew up Catholic. I think we mentioned that. I always like to drop oh, that yeah. little bomb. Yeah, Just, yeah. There's always I, a lot of um, kind of knowing nods either because people also grew up Catholic yeah. or because it ex it explains why I might be such a neurotic uh, <laughs> person. Like, oh, Catholic, okay, yeah, now I, okay, now it all comes together. That makes total sense. Poor thing. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So when did you, let's see, when did you um, first start playing the guitar? Was that your first uh, instrument choice or did you, did you uh, play several was, things? Uh, it was my first, I think it was eight years old and I took like, uh, six wow. weeks of lessons or something and learned wow. to play some Beatles songs. <laughs> uh, and then we moved and I had to stop and, uh, yeah. um, I didn't actually pick it up for like another 12 years or something. Wow. I just wow. played a bunch of other stuff. And then uh -huh. in my late twenties, I was kind of like, maybe I should pick up the guitar again. Pick there that is. guitar up and we're so glad you did. <laughs> so you and I met, uh, wow, 2000, around 2002, somewhere like that. Were you in New York? You were in New York City when we met. I do remember that. I probably was traveling through. Traveling through. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you were doing a lot of concerts and, um, you know, I remember meeting you throughout music like we had mentioned earlier. But um, we had, um, you know, crossed paths and we were both doing our thing and this, that and the other. But we've been on stage together um, at different um, festivals. And the last one I remember uh, was uh, about 2016. Yeah, was it like Into the Woods or something? Or yeah, out? that's what it was called. Yeah, out in the, It was Out in, out the, in woods. the Woods. Out in the, the Woods. Out in the Woods is the show. <laughs> yeah. It's a different thing. Yeah, yeah. And so... Um, you know, it was thrilling when I um, saw you there because there was a whole bunch of a whole bunch of us there, and everybody was just giving it their all. And I remember that day uh, going on, you know, for hours and hours, and me being in stiletto heels, and I refused to take them off because <laughs> it was so much fun to to be there. But um, yeah, so. When did you begin to, well, we were talking about Kirtan earlier and I was thrilled because, uh, you know, that's one of my favorite things and I love the mantras and stuff. When did you begin to sort of do, do that style, that kind of work? Oh, that was, it was in Tucson. And it's funny ah. because we were talking, uh, I was like, oh, I was going to play this song to open with, but I don't know if it's too mellow and chanty. And you're like, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 please. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was in Tucson. I forget when it happened, but there was kind of a little kirtan renaissance happening ah. for a little while. And all I was doing yoga at the studio and all of a sudden these people started coming through and, and um, they kind of gave us some lessons and then we started our own little group. 
and I did that for like six or seven years, I think. Wow, that's lovely. Oh, Yeah. wow. How do you feel like it influenced uh, other things that you have written or do you, what, Did how do it? you feel about that? I don't Yeah. know. Did it? I mean, that last <laughs> one, yeah, that or last song, or did it? Yes, exactly. the last one was a little chanty. Yeah, Um, yeah. I kind of actually really enjoyed it because um, there was no ego in it for Yes. me. It wasn't it wasn't something I wrote or that I Yes. wanted people to like. And I was playing with a group of musicians, and we would all sort of just go on this journey with Yes. the with the, the group and the musical group and. You know, you kind of just feel the energy Yes. and it was a very um, kind of ecstatic, you know, you Yes. lose, you lose yourself in a good way. Yes, absolutely. That's what I love about it too. Absolutely. It Yeah. just it just really took you there, you know, takes you to that place of non non ego and it's just lovely, you know, it really is. Yeah. Yeah. Uniego, how about that? <laughs> I know, right? Well, what would it play another song? Go for, go Oh, for I it. didn't really have anything ready. I don't know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, this one is uh, kind of a social justice song. And it's just, you know, there's like so much progress that's happening uh, in our society in so many ways. But I also think, uh, you know, there was a, like a famous uh, thing that uh, Dr. Martin Luther King said. I think it was like, Um, it doesn't matter if someone has the right to legally own a house if they can't afford one. Um, so it's just this kind of idea that all these things are happening and, and it's wonderful and great, but there are people who are so far back in the line Ah. Mm that it's, it doesn't really matter, you know, if their student loans get forgiven because they weren't -hmm. able Mm to go to college or there's, -hmm. um, so yeah, it's basically just kind of talking about that, um, I don't know who said it, but just uh, none of us are free while one of us is chained. Sorry. Right. And then Yes. if you're lucky enough to be born with some kind of privilege that you have a, an obligation to hold the door open for whoever is behind you. Oh, wonderful. Great. Thank you. Free. 
Oh my goodness, yes! Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Powerful. Ah, wow, that's a really powerful message. Woo! Yeah. Are we going to have a little bit of an awkward pause right now? Yeah, I'm just feeling, I'm just feeling so many things, you know, you're bringing up a lot for me and it's just been a, it's been a powerful day already. And I just appreciate your love and compassion, you know, for, for all of us, you know, for those that, that the next in line to the last be the next in line. It reminds me of, uh, you know, the first shall be uh, last and the last shall be first. Yeah, I guess it is kind yeah. of that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. like, it reminds me so much of that. And I just, it just struck over me like, oh, so I'm just having a moment of, it's not awkward. I'm just resonating <laughs> and I'm appreciating you bringing that to us. You I'm know? so glad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you? Well, I don't know. Glenn just asked, do you have a um, a favorite mantra? I don't know if you're still working with uh, oh, mantras gosh, and kirtans you know, or not. I'm not really. Um, I used to do this one. Uh, I don't even know where it's from. I used to do it when I was really anxious and I can't even remember what it means, but it was just like, Om Gate Gate Paragate Parasam Gate Bodhisvaha. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I have the right number of Gate Gates. <laughs> I tend to extend them when I'm doing, you know, I have one that I do, um, Juga Juga Echo Vest, and I say Juga 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 Echo Vest, you know, so. Um, one of our uh, friends, Marisol, is, is leaving. She just wanted to say that she wished she didn't have to go. But this has been really great. And Shauna was commenting that uh, she really loved the bluesy feel to the last song you just did. And everybody's going awesome. Awesome. Gorgeous. The comment thread is actually like I had to move the window off to the side to make room for some other windows. So, right. <laughs> but I'm actually I'm really bad at reading that kind of stuff in real time. I just I can only focus on what you're doing. Things. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And kind yeah. Of, no, I get that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, monitor the uh, monitor that for you, just because I wanted you to know that people are really loving you. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, actually, you have a super fan here. Do you remember Arizona? Um, I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm better with faces than names, and I also never know if someone has like a different name. Oh right, 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 right. Uh, well, um, Arizona has been. Uh, a fan of yours for for a very long time and she's she used to have her own radio show she'd play your um your uh music on on her show and uh she was actually at the uh last time at the out in the woods the last time we saw each other so she, uh, she just mentioned that in the comments there so yeah so what's next on your uh set list here let's oh well uh i had a special request uh for this yes new you did song called stars <laughs> It's, um, there was a period of time when I was, um, there was a lot going on. I think I was, I was, uh, transitioning, I, I guess I would loosely, loosely say from male to female. Yeah. There's a lot more fluidity, I think, yes. than that really yeah. explains, but it also was having a kind of a creative awakening at the same time, which is, mm. you know, not surprising in some ways when you kind of open to yourself and yes. start getting rid of the filters and just um i don't know it reminds me of um sometimes when i'm in these really like kind of interesting moods like there's a there's a pumpkin sitting in our driveway and i thought <laughs> if somebody leaves that there it's going to turn into a pumpkin patch <laughs> but I, and then just in that moment i thought like how bizarre is it just that that little seed has all the information it needs yes to create this whole thing and it just and, and it can't be anything else but what it is yes and i think that as humans we can be something other than what we are yeah. and it's part of the struggle of being human yeah is to kind of you know wade through all that stuff and mm -hmm. and try your best to be your your unfiltered self to the world yeah and you yeah. know this little light of mine hide it under a bushel 
No. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> they had it under a bushel. No. no. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but this song is, there was a period when that was happening and it was really verbose, uh, <laughs> writing a lot of dense, dense lyrics. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a song that came out of that. And it's, it's almost just a poem. Yeah. Um, I've never written anything before or since that competes with it lyrically. It's wow. Sort of, it, Isn't it that just, amazing? It was just a gift. Yeah, I mean, it was a I gift. I think it was just something that I got to mm -hmm. write down. Yeah. Yeah, I totally feel that way about this song, and I'm the one that requested it, y'all, because it's my favorite uh, song of yours. And uh, when we were doing our uh, Church with a Two Drink Minimum live here in the city, as I told you at Soundcheck, um, you know, we would sing it, and our, our friend Jay Freeman loves this song, and he he absolutely sang it every as much as he possibly could. So... Thank you for taking my request. You're so welcome. Yeah, this song is called Stars, by the way. I haven't even told you the title of it. Right. Um, I have two or three songs that share titles with Joni Mitchell's songs, and I wasn't aware of it until after I wrote them. So I think we're sort of like channeling the same news or something. <laughs> That's not too arrogant. To say. What if we, what if we are 
Maybe we get to stay. What if we, what if we are? What if we, what if we are? What if we, what if we are the stars? Only stars. Only stars. Oh my goodness, Nanali. Stars. Oh my gosh. I love that song so much. Oh, I it's think we are. Thing. Go ahead, go ahead. No, go oh, ahead. I was just going to say, it's, uh, it's one of those songs. A lot of times you make an album and it has a bunch of songs and um, <laughs> you play them all for a couple of years. And sometimes there's one song that kind of outlasts all the others yeah and, and this is just one of a small handful where i kind of feel like it's um it's just such a deep deep well to yeah. kind of delve into and it just keeps on giving something yes. to me and hopefully to whoever's listening to it yes um, it is. It is just layers and layers. Uh, yeah, I want to read some comments here. So beautiful. Phenomenal. Loved it. Um, yeah, I just, you know, it, we are actually, like, I see it, like, that, you know, when the Big Bang happened and all the particles, you know, um, coalesced to become, you know, planets and this and that and the other and we're a part of that you know that that actual star dust those minerals and everything came down to earth and created life and we're a part we're a part of that and somehow that it just your song just touches me in this very deep way that mm. speaks to the 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 moment of of life you know happening and being created so <laughs> yeah it was a, i think it was a special gift to to be given that song yeah i agree i think so too well yeah. let's see what are you um up to these days i mean are you touring are you playing uh locally or what's uh, recording or what yeah, I'm actually in the, the writing phase of things right now, okay. which is going terribly, by the way. <laughs> I, I'm really, I'm not someone who has a problem with writer's block. Uh -huh. It's almost like a, it's sort of a Kirtani experience where I yeah. show up for a little while and then kind of sink into a listening space and yes. the ideas kind of just start flowing. Mm. And, uh, That's beautiful. So yeah, I've just been trying to be okay with things being mm -hmm. the way they are and um i love writing um yeah for a lot of reasons i mean it's great to it's it's really fun to be the first person to hear a song yes <laughs> and, and think like oh Truly. this is a pretty cool song and and yeah. not in like a pat yourself on the back kind of way just right. like whoa that's that's a cool thing that showed up. Yeah. And, yes, um, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But almost as much as anything, it's the uh, it's the connection that happens. Mm -hmm. And it can happen during any a lot of different things. It could be right. gardening or yeah. painting or, or lots of things, but where you mm -hmm. get absorbed in it and you feel like you're uh, just connected to something bigger or uh, yeah. I don't even know if I, I can I'm explaining it well. Oh, you're you're totally you totally are I, I i feel the same way i i you know um so um i mean these paintings in the background are, are mine and you mentioned do you paint also um um i've done a well now that you mention it i have dabbled <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while 
<laughs> well, it's when you. Uh, my reason for saying it is like when you get in s absorbed, you know, like in the creative process. Yes, you yeah. described it very beautifully, and you do feel like you're a part of. I don't know. I do. I feel like I'm a part of all that is. You know, when I'm because it there is something that you open up in some way, and this channel, you know, comes through this whatever the force of creativity comes through you know and it's it's breathtaking like your beautiful it's a, it's a partnership songs. i think it's a partnership oh yes, yes yes absolutely that's lovely i know for me sometimes i show up and, and try to write songs and i can tell when it's just me yeah oh it's, yes it's like the trees are nice yeah um, <laughs> There's no snow and ice. I don't know. Um, it's a hit. <laughs> yeah, it's a hit. It could be if, with the right beat under it. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, it's. I don't even know what it is. It's sort of like it's sort of like being that seed and mm. having this potential. Yeah. And then the the partnership with the divine is sort of like the nourishment and the water and the sunlight. Yes. And everything that allows you to flourish. Yes. Um. Apparently, I'm shutting that out for some reason. Oh, well, it'll come again. You know, it comes and goes. Yeah. Well, we have time for one more song. I would love for you to finish this out here, and then we'll tell people how to find you.
Oh, yes. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness, Normally, absolutely beautiful. Everybody's saying thank you so much. This was really wonderful. Such a pleasure to listen to the music. Thank you for sharing your talents. Uh, we're just so thrilled. It, it just, um, your music is exquisite to me and I, I'm so grateful for it. So, and for you and uh, for the light that you bring to the world. Well, I thank really, you. I really appreciate it. I, um, I want to put in the chat here, Namalee's website. It is her name namaliebrennett.com and it's in the chat um uh is there uh is that where you like from people to go to buy your music or is there a different spot or um yeah i mean if people are still buying music <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> however it works <laughs> these days <laughs> yeah i don't know like i still sell stuff on itunes yeah. and through my website and okay so. we uh, uh and of course, if you go to YouTube and, and put Namalee's name in YouTube in the search, you can find uh, some amazing videos. They're just wonderful. Um, and I'm sure you're on all the streaming services or any and all of that kind of yes, stuff. Of course, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, all, yeah, all that. Sorry, I rolled my eyes a little bit involuntarily. <laughs> yes, I'm streaming. Yes, I got I my check for nine cents last week. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew how to, to find you. And Yeah, no, that's great. I'm, yeah. I think I'm easy to find. At least yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. people say that I'm already get close to, but that's a whole other discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. No, it sounds like a therapy session. We just, <laughs> well, I am so grateful that you were here tonight, and I appreciate you me. joining us all. We yeah. love you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to turn this back over to uh, Sina to close us out. And thank you, everybody, for joining us.